because the book of Revelation is sealed by saying nobody can add and nobody can take away from this book. Okay. 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 Let's discuss, for example. For, right to Habibi. Jazakallah. Nice, nice to you, brother. Jazakallah. Yeah. God bless you. Okay. Brother. Let's say I'm born in this country. And you are born, let's say, in Saudi Arabia. We become a friend. So it's two different cultures. So in your culture, something is allowed. In my culture, something is allowed. In your culture, something is not allowed. In my culture, something is not allowed. But you see, if we come, if I come and twist it or corrupt it and produce to you something which is not known by the culture or the society of this country, immediately you're going to search. You're going to do a research and you're going to find out. So my question to you, my friend, as I said, in the time of Muhammad, there were 60,000 of the copy of the Bible in Hebrew and in Greek. So if that 60,000 copy was corrupted, changed by Catholic, the first pope, everybody knows. The entire world now. Uh, you didn't answer properly. Answer who's right, you or the Orthodox oh. or the Catholics? Okay, okay. I was confused with the brother John. Okay. okay. What's the correct okay. number of okay. books uh, in the Bible? Yeah. And the second of all, you your claim about six thousand copies of the Bible, right? Yeah. You know, you know, back then, it's not really easy to access a book. It wasn't... No, everyone can access a book. Nowadays, I can just Google the Bible. What I'm saying, what I mean by book? 1,400 years ago, I'd have to travel miles, hours, months to find... Communication is a big issue here. So, it's... Okay, the concept... You know, the Roman Catholic, the conservative, the radical one, the ones who are conservative. So, none of them have the Bible at home. None of them take the Bible to, to church. They go and they listen to the priest. No, and the issue is, brother, we got the Bible today. We have the Bible, 66 books. So, I, I, I'll tell you why. Because this is those men who risked their life and compiled and came up with 66 books. They were inspired by God that this is the only trustworthy one. For example, the Gospel of Barnabas. Why it's not here? It's not trustworthy. You see, we don't know. I, and I'm doubting the Gospel of Thomas. Thomas died in India. Why it's not here? I don't know. But those people who made up this book, they were inspired by God. And they called the Castle of Nisai or whatever they call it. They came, yeah, Nasia, yeah. They came up, that's my pronunciation, sorry. So they came up with these 66 books, yeah. But if you go to Roman Catholic, I think they got a 71 or 74 or something like that. The actually the the Roman, uh, sorry, the um, Orthodox, you know, Greek Orthodox or Russian Orthodox, they got extra books. You see, you see. But this is by the church, the people who came together, prayed under the power of the Holy Spirit. They came up and the Lord shows them that this is what we have to have today and that is enough for us because the bible said if all jesus did miracle and doing good all he did if it was written in a book no human mind can contain that before the council of Messiah. by the way in the council of Messiah, those were men in turkey decided the amount of books and discussing who, who was jesus the status of jesus christianity that's all are you really going to trust them? And what, what was the status of Christianity before the Council of Nicaea? Let me ask you another question by one of them. Forty different men read this, wrote this Bible. Forty different authors, at least forty, the 66 books. Is it trustworthy? Can we really trust forty different authors wrote this Bible? And if I show you things in this Bible which is it, yeah, things in the Bible, which is in one area is one thing, the other area is one thing. They call it discrep discrepancy, discrepancy, yeah. yeah, or differences. Yes. See, but even but yeah, and even the nature involved with discrepancy. Yeah, yeah, that, that's why there was a council. Yeah, here. yeah, for example, yeah, no, 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 no. This was the creation. God created the moon, and He called them both light. That's what I'm saying. That's my point. The sun is alive, the moon is alive. But you see, the moon show up in the, in the night and it's very, very, it's a reflection. Yeah, the 
Yeah. 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 And I will never be able to understand this until I go to heaven. For example, I will never be, probably never be, I have to accept the triune God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, just like a child, like, like child face, you know, like, just like a child. I just believe that there's a God, observe, he's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And these three are co-equal and co-eternal in what? In substance and in essence. The three different offices, but one nature, one essence. So here, my friend, the concept from Genesis to Malachi, you see the gospel, the, the new of covenant, is all inspired by God. And by the way, in the old manuscript, there's no chapter, there's no verses. So it's been to us. Can you define me the, um, the, the idea of uh, being inspired by God? When tomorrow I wake up, and I'm going to write a new gospel. Why would you accept me? And how do you test that someone is inspired of God? How do we test the authors of, God, of uh, the Gospels? How, because how do, do we have even a biography of them? Do we know them enough? Because uh, in my opinion, this is all heresy. Okay, let's see what the Bible says in Romans. Chapter 10, if verse I, if 4. You quote me the Bible when I'm criticizing the Bible. That's what kind of a secular argument. I know, you, I know you criticize, but we believe it. Yeah, that's issue. While you criticize, that's we proclaim it. That's, that's we issue. preach it. That's issue. So here he said, Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believes. First, the law was fulfilled. Christ is the end of the law. The, in the old covenant. Exactly. The, old covenant. the Mosaic law. Yes. And then he is he fulfilled all the prophecy about himself from genesis to malachi all is been fulfilled so psalms the the, the the history of the church or oh, sorry of the of the uh, uh, israelite the, because there's a prophecy in genesis for example there's a prophecy in psalm chapter 22 you see there's a prophecy in zechariah the minor prophet all the prophecy was fulfilled by jesus christ therefore if any man come and say to me the revelation from God, I would say you are a liar. I'm talking about the authors of the Bible, the, the ones who claim that they were inspired by God. Yeah. How do we test that someone is inspired of Yeah, God because by God? they came before Jesus. And how do we know that something, how, can you explain to me the concept of being inspired by God? Okay, how do I know that Jesus fulfilled all the prophecy no, from... No, not, the authors of the Bible. I know the Old Testament, the Old Testament prophecy about himself. I mean, the authors of the Bible, how do, do we even know them? Of course, we are, because there was, the, there was the Old Testament yeah. when Jesus had, because he was a Jew, he was born in a Jewish family. Yes. So he was going to synagogue or temple, what day? Saturday. All right. Even Peter, Paul, even Paul himself was going to a synagogue on, on Saturday because there was, the Saturday was a day of worship. So in order to meet people, a religious people, they have to go on Saturday. For example, if you go to my country, Kurdistan, they come together on Friday. That's a day of rest. So, you know, the church, they, they, they chose Friday because that's where the officers, the teachers, and the people who are working for the government, they, they, they are off, the day off. And then now they change Saturday as well. So what I'm saying, brother, the, the Sabbath law is not for us, it's for the Israelites. But you see, in the time of Jesus, Jesus was born under the law to set free those who are under the law to fulfill all the Mosaic prophecy from Genesis. Let me finish, please. From Genesis to Malachi, he fulfilled it, for example, for example. Did David die on the cross? David? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not educated. What did you get back like this? I, I found it in a, I bought it a long time ago. So here in Psalm 22 verse 1. The first cry out of Jesus, my God, my God, Eli, Eli, lama tabatakani. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Oh, David. Yeah, no, no, Jesus on the cross. Oh, oh yeah. But 1,000 plus 100 years, Psalm 22, written by David, we said, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? So Jesus only caught this first verse on Mass of uh, Psalm 22, which is the Psalm of 22, the good shepherd, at the good shepherd, he laid down his life. Look what you said. He said, For dogs have compassed me, they assembled it. 
the, the photographers have composited me. The assembly of the wicker have been closing me. They pierced my hand and my feet. Okay. What? They pierced my hand and my feet. David is talking. Long before Jesus came. Then you said, they parted my garment amongst them and cast lots upon my vesture. At least three prophecy. David's garment, David's feet was not pierced. David's side was not pierced. His garment was not torn apart. And the soldier just said, let us do not turn apart. Let us cast a lot on whoever won, let him have it. So here Jesus, by quoting Psalm 22 verse 1, he was quoting the entire chapter. Because the entire chapter is about Jesus Christ. For example, Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53. Look what he said, Isaiah 53. And it's a prophecy about Jesus Christ. And many, many, the issue is, brother, this is old prophecy about Jesus. about the authors of the Bible and before Jesus, before the mosaic, the, the ones who wrote the mosaic. Because, brother, I, brother. No, I'm not asking, I'm asking about the, old, the people that wrote the Bible. I already told you, 40 authors. Exactly. Can you prove so, to me that all 40 yeah, exactly. were inspired by yeah. God? And what is this concept exactly. of being inspired because, by God? Because Genesis is not contradicting Malachi. Please understand, Genesis is not contradicting Psalm. Okay. The proverb is no contract in each other. There may be things that copy, maybe copyright, or maybe you know, a printing, maybe there's a mistake, maybe words there, there, for example. But the concept of one God, one Savior, one, one Lord, one Spirit, one baptism, you see, it's all here. For you see, in the Old Testament, the same. How do I believe in God? I believe in God. No, you don't. I do believe in God. What's his name? Uh, uh, he has lots of names. He has a name, eh? Many yeah. names. Exactly. For example, are you working in this country? Am I? Are you working or studying? I'm a student. Are you studying? Okay. Uh, you don't mind if I ask you where you come from? No, so I'm, I'm, uh, my parents are from Bangladesh. Uh -huh. I was born in Italy and uh -huh. I came here like four years ago. Okay. Let's say, God bless you with a long life. You're going to finish your study and you're going to work for a company who is a Muslim company. Let's say one of the well-known business man and he is your manager and he's a Muslim and he speaks Arabic and you speak Arabic. Is it okay for you to say to that manager, Anta Al-Makr? Anta Al-Makr? That you say you are, uh, you are a deceiver in English. Can you say to your manager you are a deceiver? Thank you very much. But Allah called himself a deceiver. In the name of Allah, what is the name Al Makar? You mean Al Makar? Yeah, Al Makar. Al Mutakabi is the arrogant one. Can you say to your manager, Al Mutakabi? You know, you're talking about Makar, Makar, Allah, Khair, Makar. No, I'm talking about the name of Allah. Yeah, yeah. Allah has 99 names. And each name, each name is the attribute of Allah. One of them, Al Mutakabi, which means in English, an arrogant one. Al arrogant, the arrogant. My question to you was, can you call your manager in Arabic or in English say you are an arrogant? Uh, Go going on. back to your point about uh, Makr, yeah. yeah. the verse is, talks about how uh, in, in the right context... They are Al-Makr and but Allah is the best one. No, 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 that's what he said. I am the best of the plot. They, they plot against... And I am the best of them. I am the best of the plotters. In English, it gets translated to plotters. Plotters, that means plot. a, a deceiver. No. Yeah, planner, a planner. That, that, that's your translation. No, no, I know that Someone is... Someone who plots. No, because the Arabic language, a brother. Every general no. in war, no. they plot. Do you, have you studied the language? No. Do you know the... It's only three languages. I think Hebrew. Sem 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 Hebrew, Sem yeah, Hebrew, Sem Arabic, Aramaic and, uh, and uh, I think it's uh, Arabic. Arabic and Aramaic and Hebrew. Yeah. They all have a numerical, Sem numerical number. Because they're all uh, Semitic languages. Yeah. Yeah, Semitic language. You see, for us, but I'm not the Arabic speaker, you know the Arabic speaker, we learn. So you see, for example, if you ask like a well-known Arab scholar, they will come out that is mean in Arabic, yeah, the Arabic language is very rich, that doesn't mean deceive, it means a planner. Okay, planner. So let's say it's a planner. Is it okay you to go to your manager and say you are the best of the planner? Best of the process. <laughs> No, we agree that let's say it's not the deceiver, it's the planner. Okay. The planner. I the plan. You plan, I plan. There's no issue with planning. If I want to plan a wedding, for example, there's no issue with that. that I know, but that is, that, that sentence is makes sense. 
But it's, it's philosophically, it's wrong. If I come to you, yet you are my manager, I'm working for you. And good morning, uh, John. You are one of the best planner. That's actually a compliment. No, it's not a compliment. <laughs> you take it as a compliment, but to me it's not a compliment. Yeah. Because I'm saying to you, you are one of the best planners. Yeah, you are one of the best planners, one of or the best planner. The best planner. So here, here, I came to your level, let's say the deceiver and marker, let's say a planner. But if no, you, you truly... Know, actually, I heard this argument before. Yeah. I don't just don't remember the response to it. Yeah. Um, but next, next week, I come back to you. And I, and I, I think we met before. Is it, what, yeah, we met many times. Okay. The, let's, okay. the last, last conversation we had about paradoxes in the Bible. Yeah, Remember? that's right. And I, and I got a book about that. Okay. I, I read, I'm reading a book about that. Okay. So let me ask you a question. I hope I haven't lost it. Let me think about uh, how can you go, uh, go to where the need is. Let me think of that. Let me question you. Okay. Let's say you and I join the army and we have a captain or a general. And the captain and general said, we're going to go into the war. We're going to go into the war. But I don't know whether we're going to win the war and I don't know when I'm going to take you. I know the location. We're going to cross that river. But I, I, I don't know whether we're going to survive or not. Will you 100% and wholeheartedly follow that, that leader? Will you follow that leader? I mean, if, if, if I want to fight for my country and I believe in the leader... But the leader said, I don't know what will happen to us. I don't know whether we're going to... That's the last resort. Everything is in God's hands. We're humans. No, that, We're limited that, beings. We don't no, know anything. Right? Yeah, that, that, on the other hand, God knows everything. Yeah, By I know, definition, I know, I know. He is omniscient. Yeah, but when it's come to God and when it's come to a prophet of God, Prophet, okay. yeah, a prophet of God who claimed to be the final messenger, who claimed to be the best leader, the best husband, the best man ever created. Okay. Hakam al in Arabic, which means the seal of the prophet. That means he was the seal of the prophet. That means he is greater than Moses. He is, yeah, the seal, that means everything in him is complete. Even Jesus. Going to Islam, he was a prophet. So he is the seal of all the prophets. That means everything in him is complete. Even so, everything in him is complete. In the Quran, chapter 46, verse 9, Muhammad said, I do not know where will I go. I don't know whether I will be in heaven or in hell. That's not the right context. But you take out your Quran. I mean, I uh, let's say I'm wrong. No, no, he's no, not I, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He's not mission. Yeah, yeah chap, I, think, I give you the reference. I, I think you know, you know what's the issue? You're equating the prophet to God. No, no, no. I'm, no, I'm telling you that just chapter 42, verse 9. Muhammad didn't know where will he end up, in heaven or in hell. Clearly said. Clearly said that he went to a man, he went to a funeral. He went to a funeral. A funeral. A man has died, and the wife of the husband of the man. Yeah. No, no. She said, I know by the mercy of Allah. Right now, he is in heaven. And, my, and I don't know. Obviously. How do you know? Obviously. Huh? Yeah. Okay, okay. He's not a judge. Okay, okay. okay. he has a question. He has a question to you. So, Jesus came before Muhammad. Yes. And in the gospel, Jesus Christ said, I am what I go to prepare a place for you. Okay. See, that means he knew the way. He knew he would be in heaven. He knew not only he would be, he said, I'm going to go and to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again unto you and I will receive you unto myself. Jesus knows. Yeah, Jesus knew. So here, Jesus, really good, really good, really yeah, Jesus knew, but Muhammad didn't know. And guess what? Jesus is not coming back. Muhammad, sorry, Muhammad is not coming back. Jesus is coming back. Muhammad, Muhammad, yeah. So here we got two prophets, for example. Let's say, let's say, for the sake of the argument, Jesus was a prophet. Yeah, let's come this side. Let's say, let's say. Brother, let's let me come to your shoes. Let me. I agree with you that Jesus was only a prophet. So here we got two prophets, two men. 
who are prophet of Allah, who are prophet of Allah, one of them now is away. And the other one doesn't. The other one doesn't lie. That's, that's a really good question. But you know, we you know why I don't have a problem with it. Because yeah. I don't believe Muhammad, peace be upon him, is omniscient. That's a key difference. Believe what? what? He's, a, he's not omniscient. Muhammad, he's not, he's not supposed to know everything. He's just a prophet. He's a human. He's a limited being. Then and why do you judge us? No, 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 question, no question to you. Yeah? Question to you. Yeah. You said that Jesus knows everything. Why on the cross? He said, uh, sorry, why, why did Jesus say that he did not know the hour? That, if that's that why you're judging us when Jesus no, said no, you, you're judging me no no I'm not, no no I'm not judging you I'm just asking you one of them so, is going to come so no, if, if, if knowledge brother, makes someone brother, God no no brother, brother your own logic brother no 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 we shouldn't trust let, Jesus let, let me repeat myself let me repeat Muhammad see, see, brother, no, 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 no please brother please, brother brother please do you know how many times the angel uh, uh, opened the chest of Muhammad and washed his internal organ uh, he came down uh, uh, before like, when he was how many there? times I'm not, I'm not uh, aware of the exact Can I tell you how many times? Go on. And go find out if I'm blind, yes. then you can come back. Three times, presumably, Angel Gabriel came down three times, opened the church of Muhammad and washed his eternal organ. Okay. Three times. Okay. After three times washing his organ, still the Quran claimed that Muhammad asked for the forgiveness of your past, present and future sin. I'm not finished yet, please. Yes, yes, yes. Even so, he is like that. He is the best man. He's the best husband, he's the Khatam al Anbiya, the seal of the Prophet. He doesn't know the hour, he doesn't know whether he will be in heaven or hell. Okay? But since Jesus, who came before him, that he is Ruhullah, he is Kalimatullah, according to the Quran, the word of Allah, the spirit of Allah. And the spirit. Yeah. The spirit, yeah. The Quran clearly said he's the Ruhullah, the spirit of Allah. Spirit of Allah. No, 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 brother, brother, please, you just came, you don't know what we're talking about. So let's come back to the question. So is this Jesus, who is, no, I'm no, 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 let me ask you a question, let me ask you a question, brother, because you don't understand, I have to back up. So here, someone, I understand. you see, you see, Muhammad doesn't know anything about eternity. That's, that's, that's not, no, no, he, that's if, not if, if he that's knew, no, 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 you are a messenger. Messenger is still human, still flawed, is still, is still a limited. Is it Muhammad equal to Moses? Um, he, we believe he has a higher status. No, 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 I'm just kidding. Is Muhammad... As you said, he's a Khotam Nabi. No, no, no. Is Muhammad and Moses are worshipping the same God? Yes. Okay, let me ask you a question. Uh, no, you're jumping. No, you're no, jumping. no, please, 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 please. <laughs> we were talking about something what? else like five We now the tomb of Muhammad in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Okay. Well, Show me the grave of Moses. Grave of Moses? Yeah. I don't know where it is. I, 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 I personally don't know. But maybe if you ask some scholars, archaeologists, they brother, can tell you. Brother. Even if they, we don't know, knows. if we don't know. Brother. Nobody knows. No, Allah, no, no, Allah. See, please, you ask a Christian, ask a Christian. You ask Nobody us. Nobody knows. Nobody knows where no, the grave is. Nobody knows where Moses is. There's a narration, according to the Prophet, if I'm not wrong, which describes a location that Moses, that Moses died. That is not, that, uh, but, how, but, can but, he, but, how can Muhammad know him? Moses is buried? Because God himself buried Moses. No, but, God, God, himself God himself buried Moses. That's what I'm saying. Look, what God that? himself buried Moses. Yeah. Of course, okay. it's in the it's it's in the Okay, and by the way, it's irrelevant. Look what you said. We were talking yeah, about no, no, the let, let me ask you a question, brother. It's very interesting. And, uh, Yet Michael, the archangel, oh, listen, please. Yet Michael, the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses. Thirst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, "The Lord rebuke you, devil." But that's the Bible. No, that's the Bible. Yeah. No, uh, in Genesis, in, no, in Genesis, in, in, in Eternity, we are told God buried Moses on Mount Moriah. Nobody knows, Nobody even today, knows. his grave. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. God buried him. God buried right. him. So how can Muhammad be equal to Moses? Well, the, the, the tomb of Muhammad in Saudi, but nobody knows the tomb of, uh, of, of, of Muhammad. I don't see how that equates to one being great. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you. Not only is that. Not only is that. That's a, not only is that. A, uh, yeah. Muhammad said, I can't do no miracle. Obviously, but the, Moses did multiple miracles. Okay. But no, 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 Mo, uh, Muhammad said by himself he can't do any. Uh, but you see, Moses, you see, he did brother, miracles by okay, the will okay, and power of Allah. Okay, Muslim brother, Muslim. you are very well educated. You know, you are well educated than me. But here, let me come down to your level, brother. But you, you know, you skipped the question. No, I'm, asking, I'm asking the question you know, because you don't you understand. Come back. No, no. What was your question? Let me repeat again your question. No, but because but you said you made the claim, okay? Yeah. Um, Muhammad Sallam doesn't know where everyone is gonna go. Exactly, after exactly, exactly. But, and you said that Jesus know, and I yeah. asked you. Yeah. Well, then why did Jesus not know the hour? 
No, no, no. If, if that is a pro because we, no, I don't no. have a problem with that. No, don't, don't misrepresent it. No, no. I don't believe that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is omniscient. That's an attribute that only God can have. But you see, Jesus said. So I don't have a problem. I, I will with tell you. Have a, a, a contention. Okay, with this. okay. That's not, that, I don't have an issue with this. <laughs> let me, let me, let me speak. But you still haven't answered my question. Let me, I will ask you a question. Why did Jesus not? If he's omniscient, yeah. if he's God, what does it, Why did he not? Why did he not know the hour? No, see, see the, 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 the efficiency of God. No, no, no. Let me ask you a question. The problem here is not Jesus being ignorant. The problem here is Jesus is about the application. Jesus didn't apply. He didn't access that knowledge. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you. God did not access that no, knowledge. Why no. would he need to access? I'll tell you. I'll place? tell you. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you. Why. I'll tell you. Please. He's laughing because he doesn't know. Come on. Come. You're laughing. Come on. Let me debate you. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're laughing. Come on. Let me debate you. Come on. Come on, no, 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 no. Habibi, 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 Habibi. Who was the audience of Jesus? Out? The audience. Who was the people Jesus was talking to? Jesus. A Jew. Who are they? A Pharisee. No, no Roman, a Pharisee in Jerusalem, a Pharisee, a Sadducee, and a scribe. And in the Jewish culture, who is announcing the day of the marriage celebration? Day of the? Of the marriage celebration. I'm not aware of that. You're not aware. You see, that's why, okay. In a Jewish culture, when a man and a woman get married, it's the pastor's responsibility to announce the day, let's say Thursday, is the day of marriage celebration. That doesn't mean the son and the bride are ignorant. They both now, the village now, the town now, that the day of marriage celebration is Thursday. But it is the pastor's duty, it's the father's responsibility to announce to the people the day of marriage. For example, in... in, uh, in uh, but Jesus specifically said that he did not know. No. That's why he... That, he it was a false as Exactly, exactly. To announce the time when the Yeah, you know why? Oh, oh, no, no way. Because so first Jesus was a man. First he was a man and was God. Hold on, hold on. When Paul says in Second Corinthians chapter two, as in verse one and two, I know nothing. Listen carefully. I know nothing. I know nothing but Christ Jesus and him crucified. Was he ignorant? Who? Paul? I don't even believe Paul was uh, you know. There, there, there's nothing, there's, 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 you and I there's nothing to talk about. Because, no, yeah, because we believe Paul was one of the greatest apostles ever that. lived, the greatest philosopher, the greatest philosopher ever lived on the face of this planet. Oh, yes. Is that, is that. So that doesn't mean when Paul said, I know nothing but Christ Jesus and him crucified. Yeah, but I don't take him as an authority. That doesn't make a point. It doesn't make a point. Doesn't make, it a make a point. That's what you believe. No, that's because we are a Christian. Uh, and I say Buddha said uh, no. the sky is red. But he, Buddha, Buddha didn't say that. I'm just giving an example. But Paul said, I know nothing but Christ Jesus. Hold on. I know nothing among you but Christ Jesus and him crucified. Was he ignorant? Was the Bible call him one of the super educated? He, well, the Bible call, the Bible of course, call him. We know. Go, go study the history of, of, of Judaism. He, his name was Saul of Tarsus. He was educated in, in one of the best universities of his time. They called the University yeah, the of Tarsus. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> the first university, there was no university. Back no, there was. The University of Tarsus. You mean... Uh, before Jesus? Yes. Yeah. No, after Jesus. Jesus. No, after Jesus. Jesus. After Jesus. After Jesus. Yeah. Okay. The, there was a university called the University of Tarsus, and he was born to three cultures, and he knew three languages Latin, Greek, and Hebrew, okay. and he was born to three cultures Hebrew, Greek, and Roman. Can you give me the time frame? Yeah, he was, uh, I don't have a time frame. I don't have time. First, uh, first century. First century? Yeah. And just 50, 60 years, 50, the 60 years after Jesus. The first university. The 50, 50, 60 years the after Jesus. The first university after was of Jesus. initiated by a Muslim woman in Morocco. No, it's a lie. That does not no, lie. it's a lie. The first university, no, no, term we, we no, use for university, no, no, started no, from, the, from, the no, first, from Morocco. No, no. So a woman no, initiated no, university. No. So that what no, you just said, no, you, may, you, you, no, just, you just lied. No. It's no. either, I think what you mean is no, monastery. No, I don't believe. No, no university. No, university. The University of the Tarsus. University the University in Morocco. The University of Tarsus. And you mean monastery? The University of Tarsus. I think there's a contention. No, it's the University of Tarsus. Paul was educated under the Gamalil, one of the high owners of the rabbi. His name was Gamalil, and he was studying at the University of Tarsus. Paul himself. He was the soul of Tarsus. There he was. No th there was. There was. There was, okay. there was. Let's clarify. Kind of it was an institution, okay? Yeah, forget what university, whatever. It was an institution. What's your point? Well, that there was a university. No, Paul was speaking three languages: okay. Greek, Latin, and Hebrew. And he was blown to three cultures: Hebrew, Greek, and Roman. So, oh, so he was super educated. Okay. Okay. He, no, no, but I didn't, no, no, I must say. He was super educated, yet he said to the Corinthian, I know nothing but Christ Jesus. That doesn't mean Paul was ignorant. 
So here, when Jesus said, nobody knows the hour but God. No, no. When Jesus said, nobody knows the hour but God, while he was man on earth, he didn't access that knowledge. Yeah, he didn't. Issue. No, he didn't set a time. Why does God need to access because only because he was man here on earth, he was bound by gravity. Only the Father, but by gravity. Okay, okay. He he couldn't be in America and at the same time he's in Jerusalem. See, this is the only way to make sense. What? This is where the Holy Trinity doesn't work. It's just completely incoherent. To you, it doesn't work. To me, it's work. Oh, is, is this son independent? Yeah, to me, it's work. Father. Is this son independent? No, no, Jesus was the, no, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the three, depending on each other. It's one God. Oh, it's so one God. It's so not independent. It's okay, the independent, okay. we have three gods. Okay. It, it, it's Jesus independent. That's what the devil wants. Hold, hold on, hold on. You ask me a question. Let me ask you. In a, after 40 days fasting, the devil came to Jesus. He said, if you are the Son of God, so I could I could independently from God. That's what the devil wanted. To Jesus, I could independently from God. And I will tell you why. Look, let's go there. No, you just refuted Trinity. No, so I'm not. I'm not. No, I didn't refute. I confirmed the Trinity. No, no, you said that the Father is dependent from the Son. The Son is dependent from the Father. You see, you don't understand that the you divinity. Just said this. No, 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 so no. if, the, if the Father oh, was okay, let, let's see. Let's say if you God, no, the son from no, 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 hold on, hold on. No, no, if God, the Father, is That's God, no, 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 please, don't, don't misrepresent. If God, the Father, is the God down there, and Jesus Christ is the God here, and the Holy Spirit is God out there, independence, we have three gods. Okay, okay, and, and okay. I agree with you. Thank you very much. So Jesus Christ said, by myself, I can't the do nothing. Dependent to each other. It's one God, one deity, one divinity, in substance, in essence. But when Jesus was on earth, the Holy Spirit was not on earth. He said, it's a clear for you that I go away. For if I know that I go, the comforter will not come to the Holy Spirit. I'm struggling to put the links together. Yeah, okay, okay, fine. Okay, what makes Jesus so special compared to Adam? The Quran gives an example. The likeness of Jesus is the likeness of Adam. I'll tell you they why. Both pages, I'll they, tell you why. Adam didn't have a father. I'll tell you why. Adam didn't have a mother. It's very, it's very but simple. He's a prophet. Okay, it's very oh, simple. The, but it's very simple. Why Adam? Why Jesus? No, like Adam or Adam like Jesus? No, it's very simple. Hold on, Habib, you ask me. Adam sinned, but Jesus didn't sin. Adam sinned, but Jesus remained pure. Even so, he was the man. He was tendency he could commit sin that's what i'm going to show you Ad Habibia, akhi, akhi, you ask me oh, please please don't, don't laugh please what's please, name, please, name, please. adam sinned but jesus didn't sin okay. what's your name? that's the difference between adam and jesus what's your name, what's your name? christopher christopher yeah i'm gonna go i'll be around i'll, I'll meet you ne next week go, uh, god willing god willing by god's grace by god's grace god's grace you want to shake hands with me yeah it's fine okay god bless you I love, I love you, man. Not only hate you, I love you. Do you love me? Do you love me? But I'm an apostate. How do you love an apostate? You are contacting your own Quran. No, are you an apostate? You're, yes, I am an apostate. Of course, I am. I'm a murtad in the Arabic. They call him murtad. Kafir. I'm kufar. Do you love kufar? No, please be honest. Please, before you go, do you love... Okay. Do you love Kfar? Do you love Kfar? <laughs> yeah, but he's establishing a positive relationship with somebody. Yeah, I'm, he's not. He's I not, don't want to hate he's not, he's, yeah, yeah. No, no, brother, please. You are contracting your own Quran. No, 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 no. You're the two no. categories of apostates. So. What do you mean two categories? Uh, the one that spreads corruption in the land and the one that keeps it to himself. I don't believe in Muhammad anymore. I don't worship Allah. <laughs> I don't worship so, Allah anymore. So, so, my belief. The Quran tells us Allah does not forbid you from being nice to people who don't harm you. They don't no, no, they according to your Quran, he said, no, even no, is it, is it, your own mom, your own dad cannot love you if you are an apostate. No. Go read your Quran. Quran Go read your Quran. I haven't got the reference today, but I promise I'll bring it to you next time. Bring your own Quran said, we have if, a you, you, about okay, God bless you. I bless you, and I love you in the name of Jesus. You see? Habibi, peace be upon you from Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace.